guys welcome to my new video which describes us the introduction to the target link i am dividing my presentation in three parts and this will introduce you to the target link and the second one will be the advantage of the target link over the uh, other embedded coders and the third one is the disadvantage of the target link over other embedded coder so first is what is target link it is a product from the d space which is having a powerful production code generation capability and by using target link we can generate a high efficient code directly from the matlab simulink model or from a state flow model and these codes are more efficient as compared to the other handwritten c code so uh, we are uh, describing its advantage in the following categories one is the development time and the quality of the production code code efficiency in terms of fixed or the floating scaling in incremental code generation multi read code centralized dd and easy debugging so first is development time and the quality of the production code model development and the production code generation time is very short as compared to the other embedded coders but in case if we are going for other embedded coder like rtw and all the production code generation time might be some slight more so next point is that the code efficiency in terms of fixed or the floating code so uh, while using target link there is no need of going for a extra step in case of flow to fixed point model conversion while giving in the input port we can directly go for this process and we can directly go for the production code generation so by using target link we can save our time in terms of the code conversions next one is scaling so target link gives us a feature of automatic or the intelligent scaling based on or case propagation of the signal ranges and simulink based scaling can be achieved by the target link but if we are going for other embedded coder we have to manually do the scaling part and that is a time consuming process then the next one is the incremental code generation in target link code generation process is highly effective as code generation time can be significantly reduced by generating the code only for specific subsystem which are under development code for the individual subsystem in a model can be tested review and frozen but in case if you are going for other embedded code the code generation time will be more as it won't give us the incremental code generation feature then the next one is the multi read code target link provide full support to the multi read subsystem with inter task communication this feature is not supported in in other embedded coder centralized data dictionary target link data dictionary is a centralized container of the data which contains variable data structure scaling formula task and the function dd generally used to give by the architecture only partial dd needs to be created for the sub modules production code and the a2l file for the dd variable objects are obtained from the target link model directly but for other coders we have to create the dd manually and we have to link it to the simulink model and the next one is the easy debugging logging the signal value via log signal history option in the target link helps to capture the values at different time stamps and give us model and the code value under a single gui which makes analysis and debugging of the complex system more easier but in case of other coder if there is a mismatch between the model and the code we have to put break breakpoint in the process and we have to do the manual debugging line by line which is a time consuming process then the next one is the disadvantage of the target link so mainly uh, disadvantage is like target link is mainly created for the automotive industry so if you are working for aeronautical or some other field then you might use absinand and other toolboxes then the next one is when it comes to target link it will convert its own model formalism which is having scaling and adaptation where 
whereas in embedded code like rtw there is no need to convert in the model formalism dimension etc it can be editable in simulink and state flow so as compared to the advantages the disadvantages are very few so uh, i can recommend you if you are a beginner and if you want to build your career in case of automotive field and if your company is oem or any any tier 1 company or service company then you can go for my videos and you can learn and uh, i will show you some hands on also so you can learn something and you can prepare for your interview well so thanks for watching subscribe this channel like and share the video thank you all